to me this is just the coolest thing. I do realize um, what this looks like, I am sorry for that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a couple of videos ago I mentioned wanting to purchase a tailor's ham. A tailor's ham is like basically an ironing board but round. So it, it's like this ham shaped object that is stuffed and then covered with fabric and you can use that to iron round shapes. And I need it specifically for my glitter gown project um, to iron the cups that I made because those obviously cannot really be ironed on a flat surface. Shoulder edges you could do with it or princess seams or just any type of curved seam that um, cannot lie flat. It just really comes in handy. So I mentioned wanting to purchase that and a bunch of you were like, no, 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 they are super easy to make. Don't waste your money on purchasing one. So I looked up a couple of tutorials online and indeed they are super simple to make and I'm very glad I didn't just go out and buy one. And when I saw how simple that project is, I thought, you know what, I think this is the perfect thing to make all my antique sewing machine, my hand crank sewing machine. I got this, I'm fairly sure it's 1930s Singer machine from a viewer a couple months ago. And I absolutely love it, but I haven't been brave enough to try it out yet. It should work. I was looking for kind of like something simple to make as I figure out how to use this hand cranked antique sewing machine. But yes, the tailored ham will be the perfect thing to do this with. And I am so, so, so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull out my antique sewing machine and start experimenting. I have some fabric. I think I want to make my tailored ham out of wool and I should have some wool left from when I made my winter coat a couple of years back. And I plan on stuffing it with scrap fabric, like fabric scraps. I always keep a plastic bag full of fabric scraps um, for recycling, but I still have one here that is almost full. Actually, I was about to take it out, but I think I could use a lot of that. Anything that's not a synthetic fabric, I could use to stuff this way. It's recommended that you stuff a tailor's ham with wood shavings, but uh, this is something that I already have. I know it can work. The downside to using fabric scraps is that they compress with time and um, the tailor's hand will lose its firmness and it needs to be really, really overstuffed. Since it's handmade, I can always just unpick it, stuff it some more if it does deflate a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna use my fabric scraps to stuff it with and I'm gonna use hopefully wool if I have enough. I'm gonna use wool to make it with. First, I need to just figure out how this sewing machine works. <laughs> okay, I tried to look up a couple of videos on how to operate a hand crank sewing machine. It wasn't super enlightening. Uh, basically, they all just said you thread it and use it. <laughs> so I, I'm just, I think I'm gonna have to just experiment with this and figure it out myself more or less. So I think I'm gonna start by threading. Luckily, there is already a bobbin in here, so I don't have to figure that out just yet. So I'm gonna start by just um, trying to thread my top thread. Luckily, I do have some experience with old sewing machines. Obviously, I used to use the 1960s one. I need to get that serviced, by the way. That's why I haven't used it in a while. But um, this shouldn't be too dissimilar. So I'm just gonna go around this tension thing through that thing. Oh, I don't know what this is. There's one bit here. <sighs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> um, and then there's a bit on the side. I feel like this is wrong, this is probably wrong. Okay, and then get it through the actual needle. Okay. I have an old sock here that I'm getting rid of, so let's use that as practice material. <laughs> Just gonna plop down my presser foot. And now crank this away from me. We're going. We're stuck. Okay. Oh, now we're going. Are we going or are we still? Oh, right, I see. We're wrapped around that thing. Nope, still stuck. Okay. Um, oh no, oh no, it's all sucked into you. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a journey, guys. Okay, I'm gonna grab my tiny scissors. <laughs> Okay, 
for free. There's this little thing at the top that regulates the tension. I think I just need to play around with that a little more. I'm pretty sure this is a threading issue, so I'm just gonna Google specifically threading hand crank singer machines. Make sure I do that correctly and we can go from there. Because sewing machines tend to protest a lot when you don't thread them correctly. I did thread it wrong. Everything went right except for that one bit where I got confused. So the thread goes from there um, through this little hook right here, then down through this tension thing, making sure to hit the spring here, and then, then it goes underneath this hook. It does not go through the hole. You don't use the hole at all. So it just goes underneath and then um, through here and I did everything else right. Let's give it another shot. It should be correct now. I picked up a lighter fabric so you can hopefully see what's going on a little bit better. I'm gonna hold on to this thread just to be sure that isn't being sucked in and that's what's causing this whole thing. So... Just go slowly by hand here, a couple times. And now I think I can use the hand crank. We're going, not jammed up just yet. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Let's, let's just finish this one seam. It's still going. <laughs> it's a little weird trying to sew with one hand, but then again, it is really easy to go very slow, which does make it a little bit easier. Oh my gosh, guys. We have a seam. Now let's take a look at the back. She looks very decent. There was a slight hiccup at the start here, but that is actually not bad at all. I think I can get started making my tailored hat. Oh my gosh, guys! <laughs> to me, this is just the coolest thing ever, and I, I just... Tangible history like this is just mind-blowing to me. Let's make a pattern, uh, find my wool, and get started! I think I made it way too big at first. I'm making it a bit smaller and this way I can fit a sleeve roll as well. So I think I'm just gonna make that too. I'm gonna leave the chalk lines as my sewing guide because that's gonna be good if I'm sewing with only one hand. I will have a line to follow here. So I will just cut around this uh, with a little bit of seam allowance and then get back behind the machine and start sewing. I feel a little bit ridiculous, but that was so much fun. I am seriously tempted to just make everything on this from now on, because it was a very different experience. Anyways, I have a hem that I now need to clip the seams on. I'm gonna trim down the seams, I think. Flip it inside out, I left a little opening here. And then I'm gonna start stuffing it. I am, before I do that though, just gonna tie a little knot in my threads here, because this 
uh, machine doesn't backstitch just to make sure that this doesn't unravel as I'm stuffing it. I'm just gonna tie a quick little knot. Good morning everyone, we are back. I have my ham here, semi-stuffed, need to finish this, and then I also need to finish my sleeve roll, stuff my sleeve roll. So I'm about to have a very good work day. I'm gonna sit down here, watch some White Lotus, and stuff this. I have my bag of fabric scraps here, my cabbage patch, if you will. I'm just gonna select all of the cottons and linens and just natural materials out of here. Cut those into smaller bits if necessary and stuff these until they are bursting. <laughs> I need to stuff them until they are absolutely solid and there's no movement to them. They need to be rock hard. So it's gonna take a while. I have a pot of tea. I'm just gonna sit down with my blankets and enjoy this. This thing is heavier than you would think. <laughs> and it came out a really weird shape. It wasn't this shape when I cut it, but it is now after I stuffed it. But I guess, I guess that's okay. I mean, there is more um, types of curves to iron around when it is this shape. So I'm fine with that. It is hard. Um, and I'm really excited to give it a try. I also have my sleeve. <laughs> I, I do realize um, what this looks like. I am sorry for that. It's too late now. Anyways, you would use this to iron the inner seam of a sleeve. So I will get to try that out once I've made a sleeve again. I can try this one out on the cups that I specifically made for. So let's do that. I have my iron here. Let's give it a try. We get the cup onto the round shape. Okay, this is great. This is great. I am very glad to have this now. This is gonna make things so much easier from here on out. Look at that difference between the pressed seam and the unpressed seam on the other side. Oh, love it! Well, I guess that brings us to the end of this video. Mostly, I just really enjoyed sewing on that hand crank antique sewing machine and now that i know that i can use it i'm sure i will do so many more times because that was so much fun <laughs> thank you so much for joining me here guys i hope you enjoyed this little video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more videos coming your way if you'd like to support me through patreon there's a link in the description box below thank you so much for your support guys there's another video here that i think you might also enjoy you can go watch next Thank you once again for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video.